Hi modelers and welcome to another Fine Scale Modeler New Product Rundown One Shot. I'm Aaron Skinner and this time we're going to take a look at a kit I'm really excited about. It's Airfix's brand new 148 scale DH82 Tiger Moth. This is a British trainer from pre and World War II days. A lot of RAF pilots earned their stripes on this as well as a lot of other Commonwealth countries. So let us take a look at what is in the box. So we have a bag of typical blue-gray plastic. We'll start with the fuselage halves. So we have nice fuselage halves that actually include the engine is mounted at the front of it there, so you get at least a facsimile of an engine. Um, there are optional tails here, one with some kind of extension at the front and one without. And the vertical tail is one piece, the rudder is with it, and the elevators are with it. There is some detail molded inside the fuselage halves there. It's like a throttle quadrant and some other bits and pieces, some framing. There's the nose for the airplane. There, the point. And then part of the cowl, various cowl parts. Here are the wings, which are molded as single pieces. So there's full uh, width, full depth, whatever you want to call it. This is the lower wing here, which fits through the fuselage. There's also the tiny little, there's actually optional props there. I need to fi figure out from the instructions if both of them are needed. And then the upper wing, with the center section, looks like a cooler radiator of some sort, integrated into the upper wing. They look nice, subtle rib texture. No attempt at fabric texture, which is nice at this scale. The struts are molded so that they are joined together and insert into the upper wing. There's, that. There's the fuel tank, I'm guessing, for the upper wing. Some more bits and pieces, exhaust, struts. Here's the cockpit floor, two panels, seat, other seat, landing gear frame. Looks like they've got weighted tires and the DH for de Havilland in the hubs, tail skid, just nicely molded. And again, not a lot of parts. It's a fairly simple airplane. This is actually a jig that allows you to uh, sand away the uh, section of the rear fuselage to fit the modified tail if you use that part. There's a third, there's a third prop. So it looks like they're covering their bases for variants here. Here are the clear parts. I'm not going to take these out of here because they're fairly small, but it looks like you get two little windshields. And then, let's see what the decals look like. I'm, I bet these are cartograph. Yep, cartograph decals. It includes all of the red and white checks for the cover version, the box top version, and then all the yellow striping for the other variant. Also, instrument panel dials up there. And let's check a look at the, again, typical Airfix instructions. Clear, easy to follow, just like one part per step. And I love the way that they do the, looks like you can pose the cowl open if you wish to. They show you where the parts fit in the next drawing so you get a, a sense of where it needs to go as you go through. And they include, as they say, for experienced modelers who may want to add realism to their model, there's ringing diagrams that are very clear and easy to follow. Uh, without all of it being on one, they show you where the locations run for the control lines. Same thing here, it even shows you where the mounting holes should be. And here are the marking options. The first option is one finished in the colors of Royal Air Force Central Flying School aerobatic team. This is actually an aircraft that's in the Shuttleworth collection at or Old Warden Aerodrome in 2018. So it's a warbird, I guess. And then the other option is also a warbird. 
This is one that's at uh, Headcorn Aerodrome in Kent in 2018. Both in wartime colors, or pre-wartime colors, but uh, both colorful. The nice thing about Tiger Moths is there are dozens of options. They flew for a lot of different air forces before and during World War II and even afterwards. There were a lot in civilian service. Um, so there are many uh, colorful options to add to your collection. And I know that it, for one extra decal uh, out of the UK has already released several sheets with markings for British, Australian, Canadian, South African Air Force aircraft. So you may, if you're a Tiger Moth fan like I am, there's plenty of options out there to add colorful aircraft to your collection. Look for a review of this in an upcoming issue of Fine Scale Modeler Magazine. I'm Aaron Skinner and I'll see you next time.